Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the wrap up. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. It is your Monday night podcast. Start off with us, first of all, with us from Beacon, New York. He is Mad Mike. Um, Sorg, I think we just watched the end of Eight Mile on Raw. What did we? Wait, Ronda, uh, Ronda Rousey is Papa Doc. Oh no! Huh? Oh man! <laughs> Throwing up mom spaghetti. So everybody in the dub dub e, put your motherfucking hands up and follow me. Oh, man. Also yeah. with us in studio on the couch is a newly shaved Larry. I don't know which is better, his Papa Doc reference or your Iceberg Titanic reference. No, no that wasn't mine. That was in the grouper. I don't even know if that was in our group. I, know, I, I just saw it on my that, Facebook. But that was, whoever, that was well, whoever posted the, uh, this is a visual, this, well, this is a live update from Ronda Rousey's promo, and it was the, the Titanic um yeah yeah anyways but that's not how we like to start the show well, at least we're trying we're trying to start the show a different way um I, obviously there's a lot of wrestling this weekend and i'm sure most of you pretty much watch wwe because there was all over the place and what was your awesome wrestling moment from the weekend guys i'm guessing everybody's going to have something from takeover uh, i'll say i'll say something from from wwe proper mm-hmm I thought everything that involved the women at Royal Rumble was expertly handled and very well done. Expertly handled, he says. Yep. If if WWE just became Shimmer right now, I'd be entirely on board with the whole product. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Larry, what about you? Um, Ray Rowe's partner turned me around on the War Raiders. Really? Because he did a cartwheel? Because he did a cartwheel, and then he did a... Uh, handstand like springboard off the ropes he did some cruiserweight shit and he shouldn't be able to do that because of gravity mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that seems right that's yeah. right also, I, 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 i'm a fan of him also isn't there a point where ray Row picked him up the bigger of the team and threw him at somebody yeah i yeah. don't really pay attention to ray Row. Uh, they knew that. No, no, it was a really good. Match. Generally, generally yes. though, um, congratulations. But, but, to, wait, 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 congratulations yes. to friend of the show, Ray Rowe, long time old days. No, 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 friend no. of the show, mm -hmm. Ray Rowe, friend of the show, not of Larry. Sorg, Sorg, yes. Give me a single. What you got? Single. Your days are numbered, bro. That's. I'll be your time I'm, keeper. I'm starting my campaign to find a partner. I'll, I'll do it. I'm starting it. We need to pull out the the, the interview you're clip. Coming to my house. We need to row. You're coming to my house on my birthday weekend in April. You're going the fuck down. Whoa, whoa. We yeah. we do need to pull out that interview clip where that challenge was laid out, and I believe he audibly accepted. Was that was that the last time he was on? I don't know if you were with. No, us. that wasn't. It wasn't an audible. Challenge. Wasn't it wasn't an audible. It was at a show. It was, it was at, at a, a show. show. Oh. Oh, that's yeah, funny. right. Uh, yeah, it was at a show. He just screamed at me. You know, there's so much great stuff happened this weekend, but in general, I'm excited for um, halftime heat for the Super Bowl. We're bringing it back, you guys. I actually, hey, dude, no last one night, wants to watch Maroon Five. Anyway, hey, it's 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 kind of an easy choice, isn't it? Um, last yep. night, I actually pulled up um, the original halftime heat. Oh, why would you do that? Oh, <laughs> uh, why not? Why not, man? Why not? I mean, I was, That's I, a, it was a lot of forklift angles. I was also really, I didn't get that far. I got into like the, 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 the quote crowd and that was about it. I, um, I, 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 I would just need something. I was desperately trying to fall asleep last night. Um, but anyway, so like, it was, it was like halftime. He, Bill Maher and big hero six. Finally, Big Hero Six put me out. Um, but anyways, that's what put you out. Not I mean, Bill Maher ranting not, about politics. Not for being Big Hero. Well, I think I think it, I think Bill Maher prepped me, <laughs> and then I watched a little bit of okay. of the empty arena, then a little bit of Big Hero Six, and you know, as long as I I pass out before somebody dies, we're good. Um, anyways, yeah. 
Hmm. It's a Disney movie. Of course somebody's going to die. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see. From the chat, uh, the, the partner says, The man was on Raw, therefore the show was great. And Alex uh, Miller says, Saying hi to Nick Gage was his highlight of the weekend, apparently. It, where are you just seeing? I, I'm hoping that was at a wrestling show and not like, you know, at a Chipotle. Because that seems like it would be really, really it's weird. Chipotle. It's a Del Taco Hey, but you know, if it was at, at Chipotle, then Nick Gage wouldn't be the most violent thing in that building. This is true. This is true. I will have you know I have had Chipotle in California. They do exist. Really? Yes. I guess. I think that was California. I don't know. They all kind of. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was might California. Have been, might have been Kansas. It could have been. No, it's definitely not Kansas. No, no. Kansas, you're lucky if. Yeah, you're lucky if you can find a Wendy's. Anyways, um, this is not the this is not the Sorgatron travel blog. Uh, but anyways, so uh, Raw, I was I, I do enjoy you know I guess when you do have an event as big as it was you know this was with forty eight thousand people and you know you're doing a Fortnite stand in in a in a decent sized city like Phoenix, you kind of get a little bit of that WrestleMania feel day day after WrestleMania feel, um, as I think we got tonight, uh. <laughs> Between um, well, we are we are we are sixty nine days away. So yeah, like, I think that yeah. got around the crowd up too. So um, no, that was that was pretty good. Um, I'm glad that we're not waiting to find out who you know, like a bad episode of The Bachelor. We're gonna figure out who everybody picks. Um, I'm not. We still not? have two. We still have two pay per views. That's right to do a lot with, right? Which two? We have elimination well, chamber. A lot on the smack a lot on the SmackDown side. Now there's not a whole shit ton you can do on Raw. hmm Because both champions are spoken for. So Elimination Chamber, if you were expecting Brock Lesnar, I don't know why you would. But <laughs> if you were expecting Ronda Rousey, I don't know why you would be. <laughs> Fast lane? It's more like yield sign, because neither champion's <laughs> gonna be defending it that either. Jeez yield sign um we'll see what the story goes maybe you'll uh well chambers already we got the women's title in in one are we doing a second one like what would we do with it probably number one contender a wwe title Ah, but but i bet we just do a wwe championship that too that seems right we don't do more than two that seems crazy uh but uh hey (laughs) Potter brings up a good point. Has EC3 been seen in the last three days? Yes. I'm yes. Scared. For yes. Him. There was a screening over at Tolan's of uh, Beneath the Water. Oh right. Starring EC3. Can we talk about your connection with that? I hope so because I just said it on on air. Yeah, I helped sculpt the monster that killed him. That killed EC3. I think I haven't seen it yet. Okay. I'm just saying. You're that, just but, pretty sure he's gonna uh, die in the movie. But. Yeah. And uh, Brodus Clay is in that as well. Yeah. Or whatever, Tyrus or whatever his real name Brodus is. Clay. Bro- no, it wasn't Brodus Clay. Brodus Clay. Uh, uh, well, he's built as, yeah, he's built as a different name, but it was like Tyrus, so it's his uh, TNA yeah. name. Um, so there you go. You you, you helped with the, the, that movie that's now on Amazon, I think, if anybody wants to see it. What was the name of it again? Oh, uh, it was. Been, 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 they think. changed the title on it, like, right before they released it. It was called. Matt Carlin's is calling out while you're figuring that out. Uh, kind of presumptuous to think that Brian won't defend I, before me. I didn't say Brian. I said there's nothing they can do on Raw. Yes. SmackDown, you can have a whole bunch of shit happen before WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. But now Raw is just going to be holding pattern for 69 days. 69 days of three hours a week Raw. Beast of the water. Beast of the water. Yes. Go check that out. Support support a Larry project. It can be found. In... Sounds like someone's just trying to interrogate Brock Lesnar. Beast of the water. Oh, yes. Like water boy and Brock Lesnar. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So, uh, no. so, so uh, man, Mike, I know yeah. you are constantly concerned about the status of friend of the show, Elias. Oh, he's fucked. <laughs> he may as well. He may as well just go to AEW right now. Okay. What are you talking about? He may as well just he may as well just ask for his release. Uh No, no, I'm sorry. I told you this shit was happening. He got too popular, too over, too quickly. Mm -hmm. He's never gonna be anything now. Uh, I know I might have said earlier this year, but that he was gonna be in for a big run. Nope, that's all fucked now because we have J E double F, J A double R E double T that's fuck you, Jeff Jarrett. 
Larry, what are your thoughts on on Elias and the singing Jeff Jarrett? Um, I don't, I don't know. I I was too busy laughing at Road Dog trying to tell the crowd not to say the S word on live TV. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good moment, though. That, you gotta admit that was a good yeah. moment. No, no, it wasn't. Oh come on, Mike! <laughs> no, it wasn't. If you're just no, he's telling the crowd not to react. Um, okay, like like. Elias was on a huge face run. They were still cheering for him as a face, and now they're turning him heel randomly because they don't have anything for him as a face because they don't have any plans for him at all. Like, this is a terrible idea. He's caught in the middle of a mashup between the worst of TNA and the worst of 1994's new generation of WWF. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay wow wow that is that is a lock on for a time period we there. Might as well call this episode with my shulo tonight Did you- <laughs> <laughs> that is the name of this episode now i'm writing that yes. down uh yeah. did you appreciate uh i don't know if you noticed um with at my- the rumble it was fine don't get yeah. me wrong at the rumble it was fine i thought it was stupid but it's the Rumble. Like, you can cool. forgive anything at the Rumble. This is the but thing now that Jeff Jarrett's been hired full time oh. as an agent. Oh. Fuck See? that shit. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Okay. That's real. Ooh. That's real. That's I just, why this is bad. I just thought his plane got delayed, so they just put him on TV again. Yeah, you know. No. He's hired. So, so he. Did you see that he dug up his actual um, um, Jeff Jarrett outfit from like. I think the last WrestleMania he was on. It wasn't that hard. It was at the. It was at Access last year. <laughs> it was. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? He just busted out of the case in the in the in the vault. And honestly, that would have made for a more entertaining segment. It's probably going to be on an episode of Edge and Christian, to be quite honest. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> well, we. Uh... <laughs> Dave brings up an excellent point in the chat. What's that? With the McMahon's in charge of everything, why don't we just move people between shows? That's a really fucking great point. <laughs> that is a really, really spot on question that they have no answer for. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, the McMahon's, I mean. There's no GMs anymore. Yeah, so there's, there's no, no GMs. No, there's no intercompetition. It's like, do we want Vince to have a confrontation on both shows? Do we want Triple H to get come out and get called out for Wait, 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 wait. Speaking of which, be sort of Triple H, I wanted to bring this up. The part where uh, Dean asks if he has to ask his father in law for permission, and the crowd resp- responded, Yes, he does. Yeah. Was I have magic. The crowd, the crowd was on point today. I love it. I love the, it. The Slay the Beast chant. Uh huh. I don't give a shit about Brock Lesnar, but that got my hype. Yeah. That got me hype for that. Like, if Rollins can go from King Slayer to Beast Slayer, yeah, that works. Ooh, I think you just got and the by T-shirt. By the way, I'm going to say that one really loud in certain places to make sure someone hears it. <laughs> cafeteria in the cafeteria. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyways, <clears throat> that that's when I'm just stepping on things I shouldn't say. Um, the crowd was on point and really kind of helpful for the hype, like you said, but uh, it was not helpful well, for one Rhonda. She shook. Oh, she's done. Yeah, she's done. People yeah. saw the report that she's leaving after WrestleMania. Oh, and yeah. And she's joined. She might as well be joining the Minnesota Vikings. She's getting. The- <laughs> oh! She might as well join the Minnesota Vikings. Wow. Jeez, man. <laughs> she might as well join them. Okay. Might as well. Um. Oh, that's wait, brutal. Well, why are you? You get what I you get what I'm saying. Yeah, right? I know oh, what you're yeah. saying because I was about to say. So she's she's Goldberg and Lesnar at WrestleMania yeah. 20. And yeah, that, and like, then after combined that, combined into one. After that, she'll have a successful career in the UFC. And and guess who plays the Stone Cold Steve Austin of this? Who? The man oh, Becky Lynch. Oh, I thought that with was... bad knee and all. Bad knee and all. If she... Becky wins, if Becky wins that match with the Stone Cold Stunner into the armor, I will lose my ever loving mind. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon thinks we're going to get an intergender match at WrestleMania. I, I would don't think love so. That. I, I would, would love, love that. I would love it. I don't think so. Naya I, and I think. R-Truth. I think this was a special night for them to play with it with the Royal Rumble. That they, was stupid, though. They, well, it was stupid. That Nia came out. No, it was. It was fine that she came out, started eliminating a bunch of people. It was dumb that it took 
Randy three. Orton and Rey Mysterio. She took three finishers before they just threw her over the top rope. Yeah. No, that's that's accurate. No, that's that, that's make. I'd say make, that's accurate. That's make Nia look strong. Yeah. Did no, it? That actually. Yeah. That was the best Nia has looked all I year. Don't know. I, she was fine before that, but I mean. And then you had a confrontation with her and Dean tonight. Well, her and yeah. Tamina and Dean. I mean, yes. I, I any dude I think would be intimidated if those are, you know, the the ladies you said the wrong thing to at a bar. Uh, I guess I don't know. I, they're doing. They're, I I love that we came from. They'll never do. Like a week ago, we were like they'll never do intergender, and then the Royal Rumble says, eh. So, um, uh, Matt's saying, Carlin's is saying, uh, kind of a test balloon to see what the reaction would be to. And again, yeah. you can do it in that environment, you know, where anything can happen. It adds a surprise. Uh, with this, uh, he, she's the fourth woman to be a part of it. What, China? Beth China, Phoenix, Beth, Karma, and... Uh, Karma, that's right, that's right. So, I mean, that's... But, but Nia was the first one to take any real offense. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And it was uh, like she was the first person with multiple eliminations. I think everybody else yes. just eliminated one. Yes, one person. Uh, yeah, Beth took out Kali in a most in an interesting female way. Yeah, that's that's one way of putting it. I, <laughs> what I could come up with. Um, anyways, uh, no, I think it's 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 it, it's been a fun weekend and a solid weekend. I I I, I can't um, I can't believe how enjoyable. Royal Rumble was last night. Like, literally mm. the worst part of the show, not even the worst part, like the slowest, like, huh, you know, part of the show was AJ and it, Daniel. Yeah. yeah. It was it was the... They were the diva spot. They were the diva spot. spot. That's where we're at. Is this a quality, guys? Well, it's also, like, that match should have had a stipulation on it. Mm -hmm. Because if the whole build to it was Vince McMahon letting himself get punched in the face and saying he wants to see the real AJ Styles, that should have been like a, a no DQ match at the very least. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, or at least you have him get disqualified. We've had a problem with No, the, no, because we've no. done that to oh, no, no, death. No. Yes. We've done that especially, to death. We don't need Especially with AJ that. Styles' def, uh, lines of defenses and, and stuff. No, no. I, it, this, this is something that was called out somewhere else was, um, you know... We we have too many of these things that that you know there's there's a lot of heat going into it, but then like we don't have like it's a wrestling match. It's still a wrestling it, match. Hmm. Well, because a lot of times a lot of the heat is going to people who physically can't lose. Yeah, yeah. So like like you have to have uh, you have to have people lose occasionally. Like Brock. Like what harm would it have done? to have Finn Balor beat Brock Lesnar as the demon. Mm -hmm. Like, for a three-week reign or however long it is until Elimination Chamber, then Brock gets a rematch, says he wants to fight the man Finn Balor, and Brock takes the belt right back, and then boom, Seth can still fight Lesnar at Mania. What harm would that do? That would do no one harm. Instead, Finn looks like a fucking idiot because if you come at the king, you best not miss it. He doesn't come with his biggest shot. Mm-hmm. Agreed, agreed. Um, and, and I'm kind of worried what they'll do with him here. No, he's, he's going to be the IC champion, and it's going to be fine. Yeah, but he, he's got a nice spot there. We yeah, need, what they do? Um, Carlin's is saying we need to figure out why Styles keeps having flat matches. Like it's not like it's not like those two aren't capable, right? Yeah. No. So I don't know. I th I think he's just checked out. I think he's just tired. Yeah, he he was the champion he, for like a year. So yeah, he was champion for a year. Like if you watch that three sixty five, his schedule was brutal. Mm -hmm. Homeboy just needs some time off. I think. Yeah. Well, who doesn't? Like right? I think that's why he wants a reduced schedule. Oh, was he calling out for that? That's well, because his contract is up. Okay. In April, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Anything else from tonight, Larry? That uh, stuck out for you? Um. There's a lot. Brandon saying that Brian never really left the Wyatt family. Mm. No, I don't know. The, those jumpsuits they made them were definitely not eco friendly. Nope. <laughs> no, a lot of flannel though. The, the flannel family. What? Flannel family. <laughs> there you go. 
Um, but Rhonda's beaten three of the four horsewomen. <gasps> yes. Yeah, Bailey tonight. Good uh, good match with Bailey tonight. No, not no. good match. Rhonda was completely lost. Mm-hmm. Rhonda was completely like they got it back almost by the end. Mm-hmm. But the beginning of that match, Rhonda was completely thrown for everything because of how much the crowd just did not want to hear her at all. True, true. Like yeah. when you like I, I saw this somewhere on Twitter, I forget who said it. When you have Bailey come out to save your talking segment, <laughs> you, are, you are in trouble. Yeah. Very much in trouble. Oh, uh, speaking of speaking of the women, the Riot Squad are yeah. gonna be in the chamber. That Very was exciting. A shocker. Very exciting. Now we just need the Iconics to qualify on SmackDown, and then I won't care who wins. I'll just be a happy boy watching it. Uh, they're, so they're doing three from Raw and two from SmackDown, right? No, three and three. Oh, they are. Okay. Oh, there's there's six pods. Okay. Well, there's four pods, two beginners. Four pods, there's two beginners. Six, six okay. Yeah. Cool. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, it'll be interesting to see what goes on. Uh, just a couple of weeks until Elimination Chamber. I think three weeks until Elimination Chamber. So we'll see how that uh, works out. But uh, strong-ish Raw going into it. We'll see what SmackDown looks like uh, next week. So uh, with that, any last any last thoughts, gentlemen? I, Baron Corbin and Drew McIntyre becoming Big Show and Kane, and I hate it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Need somebody for Braun to get some challenge no but but he but he doesn't he gets nothing from defeating them mm-hmm. he doesn't get anything from defeating anybody but brock that's yep. right exactly i am with mike now Braun's in trouble yep Braun's in trouble elias he's is in a, trouble it's sort it's this systemic thing yeah yeah because of brock mm-hmm. it's all because of brock all trickles down well actually it's it's all because of what unfortunately happened to Roman Mm -hmm. because now this is all scrambling Mm -hmm. because I think if that hadn't happened, we'd be looking at an entirely different raw scene. Personally. I think that for better or for worse, you think for better? I think for better, for a lot better because you'd you'd have a beatable champion Mm -hmm. in Roman Reigns. We could do something with it. Like you'd have a beat. Like I wouldn't be surprised if, Braun was supposed to beat Roman at Royal Rumble. All right. Mad Mike 483 on the tweets. And also YouTube.com slash Poppy. <laughs> still? You're still, still going with that, huh? It's a- never. Uh, <laughs> never going to stop. Okay. All right. Uh, Larry, wait, you are. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I did a thing. Oh, no. I did a thing. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, no. I did a thing again. We're back. We're back. I, I keep hitting that button wrong. I'm sorry about that. Larry, so Poppy yeah. live tweet NXT this week. Oh man, I need to go back yeah. and read that. Yeah, you do. Larry, where can people find find you? At Dark Forge Studios. Dark Forge Studios. Yes. Deep from the basement, from the bowels below, Sorgatron Media. Yes. Dark Forge Studios. Dark Forge Design or Dark Forge Studios. Co. Yes. Yes. And at Sorgatron on the tweets, uh, scheduled this week, we are supposed to have Beastman in for the Wrestling Mayhem show Tuesday at 9 p.m. on our Facebook Live. And also, um, I believe Sexy Fireman is going to be our interview for the Indie Mayhem show going up on your podcast streams this week as well. Uh, Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody in the chat room. An awesome crew of you hanging out today, Brandon, Alex. Matt Carlin's Dave Potter, the Tiny Shutter Podcast, Brandon Wheels, and so many more. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ty Cross. Uh, so we'll see Who you guys. Is that? I don't know. We'll see you guys next week on the wrap up. Now the button needs to work. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. wait for the perfect time in the This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.